Hello guys and welcome back to another tiny tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Gobo images for your scenes and projects to just make them more beautiful and a little bit more realistic. So if you don't know really what Gobo images are, I will just blend in here some examples so you know what I'm talking about. Um, Gobo images are something like filters or masks which we can use on cameras or on light sources and they give us the effect of shadow and light. Um, that means for example um, when the sun is shining outside but you have some clouds in the sky then when you're looking on the ground you don't have just the sunlight on the ground you also have like the clouds shadows right um, or when you are for example in a church and there comes some light through the window most churches have like these um, symbols on the windows um, so the light go through the windows and you get these kind of symbols as shadows on the ground from the church um, and these kind of things um, are pretty handy when we are using um, the gobo light and we can make a pretty pretty nice effect with them but uh, the best way to show you that is when i um, give you an example here so um, i'm in marmorsat toolbag 4 but i can definitely say that you can use gobo images in other programs as well in the past i used them in maya because we can set up um, our light sources there as well so you can use them there but for this video i just um, show you how i do this with marmorsat so like i said we need a light source which i have here a lot um, I will just create one um, for you. So I will just turn off my overall sunlight and I create a new light. So let's click on the mouse right button and then we go here to add light and then we um, choose the directional light. So we get here this one. We make it a little bit brighter because um, with the Gobo images we get some shadows so we need it a little bit brighter here and what we're doing now is going down here to the gel section and we have here a square which we can click on and then we can choose our Gobo images these are just um, some examples here for example um, are the church window things um, I talked about before but let's see, um, I would say we can use something like clouds. So I choose this one here, open it. And now we have it here. Now we can play around with the gel tiling to make it bigger or to make it smaller. It depends on what the patterns look like and what you want to um, have in the end result. So you can play around with that. And you see that you get all the nice shadows from the clouds now in our light source. You can turn on and off the picture here. And now when you just make a turntable or something, you can see that it looks like um, the scene is playing in a forest or something. Um, you can actually do everything with it. So you can see here that the shadows are pretty nice going over the whole scene. Um, for me here in this example, I have the um, directional light um, outside of the light thing. You can also put it inside the folder. Let me see. Just make it here and then you have the um, light source going with the scene. Um, it depends on what you want in the end, but it both look pretty nice, um, especially because it looks now more alive, the whole scene, because it is all like a forest um, in the end. So you can have 
a more stronger effect when you have it really black and white or you can soften it up a little bit and make it more gray white um, and also if you don't know how to get these I mean I just searched for most of them on the internet um, and copied them or I think there are other artists out there who um, sell those gobo lights or of course you can make your own ones um, depends on what you like um, this one for example is um, a pretty nice one when you want to make a creature in a cage um, then we have like these cage shadows all over the place what is a cool effect as well um, but yeah overall you can just play around with this one and make sure that you don't forget um, to make them tileable so that you don't get so weird patterns out here like for example this one so you can see it is pretty repeatable so make sure it doesn't um, affect your scene so the best thing is when you don't have something what is tileable just make it bigger um, or just use another uh, gobo light so but yeah that's it overall um, you can play around with that and I really 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 love this effect for gobo lights because it makes everything just more realistic in the life so yeah I hope that helps and uh, we see us in the next video